Okay, one thing I want to show you real quick before we start editing is where to find the GoPro Studio online and you need to download this program to your computer and it's a 100% free editing program which I think is a really nice program for being free. So anyways, let's open up. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to type in GoPro Studio. And then right here, GoPro Studio 2.0. At this moment, that is the latest and greatest. Uh, as time goes on, they'll have probably even a 3.0 or who knows what. So what you're going to do is click on that, and it's going to take you to this page. And depending on when you're watching this video, depending on how up-to-date this page will look. But all you got to do is click Download Now to download this program onto your computer. I already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and click off of here. I just wanted to show you how to find it. Now, what I'm going to do is, once you do get it downloaded and open it, it's going to open up and look like this. So I'm going to full size it. And there might be like a little tutorial thing that pops up in the front, and you could click on it just to get an idea of what's what. So what I'm going to show you here is just the basics for doing time lapse. I'm not going to actually show you video editing on this video. I'll make a different one for that one. So anyways, let's go up here where it says import new files. Let's open that. And then you want to do is go find the location of your time lapse pictures. So I saved them on an external drive, hard drive, so which is under my computer. And here's my external hard drive. I'm going to click on that. And I got under photos, time lapse. Click on the month and sunrise time lapse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the first picture and hit Control A. That'll highlight all the pictures. Another way you could do that is you click on the first picture and you can scroll all the way to the bottom, hold the shift key and click. They'll also highlight everything. Once you do that, hit open. Now what's really cool about this editing program is they actually, I think they did a really good job on this. So anyways, 597 frames and here it is right here. So I can actually hit play to check it out. We'll see if it works right away or not. And my computer is kind of being a little bit slow but for playing through it. But I'm going to go ahead and just pause it for right now. And so here's a trick. So say you only want part of this time lapse. So say you want it right where the colors start coming in. Let's back up a little bit. I can actually hit this as a mark as an endpoint. And let's go down to the other end. Let's see where I want to stop it here. So you can kind of pull it. See, I don't like it. it's all kind of washed out. I like it when the sunrise is actually looking good. So it looks like the colors start to disappear about right there. So I'm going to go with the out point. So now we got this one bar here. Picked out, so this is the area that's I want to keep. So once I figure out the area I want to keep, I'm going to add. I'm going to click this button. It says Add Clip to Conversion List. So let's click that. Now it pushed the video up here. So what you want to do is, so here's the video, the new one. Now I want to want to do before I can actually edit edit this thing. I need to come down and hit Convert All. So let's click that. Now, depending on how big your video file is or how many pictures will depend on how long this thing will take to process. Sometimes it goes really quick within a couple minutes. Sometimes it could take five minutes. It all depends on your computer speed. So I'm going to go ahead and once again and pause the video, and I'll be back here in a second once the conversion is completed. Okay, once I get my in and out point set, um, I want to do is I want to come down here to where it says advanced settings. Let's go ahead and click that. 
here you can actually change your frame rate but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the keep it at 29.97 for now I can always slow it down uh, for future editing file format you can do AVI or MLV for movie um, basically if you're gonna do any post-production in a different program AVI is a better way to go so you, then you could take it into your Vegas Movie Studio or Adobe Premiere and AVI is much better format for editing um, but for this demonstration for right now I'm gonna put it in movie mode quality you can have medium but I'm gonna take it on high remove fisheye I'm gonna go ahead and check that which will take the fisheye and flatten the picture out nicer and then you have a choice of remembering settings but I'm just gonna leave that unchecked for right now okay let's go ahead and OK okay the next thing you want to do is once you've done your advanced settings and your in and out points of where you want the time lapse to be click this add clip to conversion list which takes it up here now you want to do is come down here and hit convert all so now it's going to start processing for editing and this may take about four or five minutes or if your computer is really slow it could take 20 minutes it just depends on the file size and what camera you've been using and how fast your computer is so I'll go ahead and pause the video and as soon as it's done processing we'll go to the editing stage okay my uh, video is just completed from processing so let's go ahead and proceed to step two which is edit so let's go ahead and click that and when you click this you may get a pop-up screen that comes up and you can actually pick different templates uh, a lot of the templates you can just drag and plop videos in but like I said this is for time-lapse so if that pop-up comes up just hit the uh, it's probably gonna be on your upper left hand corner and it'll say blank template just click that once you click that it'll look like this you'll get the same looking screen um, one thing you probably have is all these will be up so let me get it back to where it should be so this is what your screens probably gonna look like now you could do is just drag your video on down here and let's go ahead and just play it just see what it looks like and it looks like my camera is moving around a little bit for some reason not sure why that happened I thought I had it pretty stationary let me look at it one more time so it looks like it's kinda of towards the beginning where for some reason my camera started to move so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it one more time yeah, let's go to the beginning so this little diamond here you can actually drag or you can come down here and drag this here also does the same thing so let's just go to the beginning I'm gonna watch this one more time so right there it looks like it might stop so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that I'm gonna mark that as my in new endpoint and it seems like it's holding pretty steady and I think I'll just leave all that so that's my new edit right there from start to finish now you do have the option of doing titles you can add audio um, you can drag your music into here and stuff uh, but like I said that'll be a different editing thing or different editing videos so anyways this one here I want to go ahead and export it so I'm gonna go ahead and hit export now you have different qualities of video you can do here you got YouTube Vimeo mobile device HD 720 HD 1080 which is really good for just playing back on the computer archive edit this is what I use a lot because I basically will use this GoPro editing program to do some basic edits with it and then I can turn around and 
send this out and then to my Vegas movie studio or my Adobe Premiere Pro and then you could do a custom settings too but one thing I want to do here I forgot to show you let's go ahead and cancel this for a second just go ahead and pull this somewhere in here I totally forgot to show you this over here you got some cool editing controls so say I want to speed the video up a little bit I could increase it and let's just see what it does or if I want to slow it down I can like take it let's take it down to about say 50 percent pull this back let's just see what 50 percent looks like and that makes it really slow if I wanted to too so that's a good way of speeding or slowing down your video I like the length of it the original so I'm going to go back to 100 percent you also have an option of fading in and fading out so just to show you real quick let's do about a second on each on the fade in and fade out let's see here okay so let's play it so you can see it fade in kind of doing my little time lapse and it should fade out just like that but I'm going to go ahead and take that off because I'm going to, like I said, edit this in a different program anyways. If you have audio, this is where you can adjust your audio. Your white balance, if you want to change the temperature, you can change it up. To warm it up or cool it down. And actually warming it up might be a good idea. So I'm going to do that. And I could change the tent a little bit. Just add a little more color in there. image control let me scroll down to that here you can adjust your exposure to brighten it or darken it a little bit contrast you can add a little contrast saturation ooh that looks pretty good I think I'll leave that and sharpness you can actually make it a little bit sharper a little more less sharp so take it down just a little bit now say you messed around with all these and you're like man I don't like the way it was I want to put it back to the original all you gotta do is hit this default button and it'll set everything back to where it was and then let's go down to framing controls this is kinda cool if you want to zoom into your picture and you can take your horizontal move it to the left or go to the right a little bit could go up a little bit more cut it down actually might take this up a little bit let me zoom it out because I'm trying to cut off uh, had a little part of a building look like it was caught on there and you can also have rotations and you could do other stuff with that and then down here you have presets where you can actually Let's see, let's just click on one. Make it look old. Some old school. I'm going to just go back to none. The only problem with clicking that, I messed up my exposure and saturation. But let me bring the saturation up a little bit again. Just a little bit. Maybe a little contrast too. Exposure. Let me take the exposure down just a hair. Yeah, let's hit play and see what it oh that looks terrible <laughs> it always get to play this so I'm gonna hit defaults and let's try this again yeah I'm just gonna leave it as default not mess with it too much so anyways once you get your video all set to where you want it let's go ahead and hit export again and I'll go ahead and just hit a 1080 here real quick and I'll export this as a video so let me do that and I'll probably do is come back and change this to AVI or something so I'm just gonna save this on my desktop and I think I got a folder for time-lapse right there and I'm just gonna call this one sunrise hit save 
Now it's exporting, and this should go pretty quick. It should only take like a minute or a couple minutes or something. So I'll pause the video, and then I'll show you the final, what it looks like. Okay, I went ahead and exported it into a folder. And when it was, it took, me, it took a couple minutes, and then once it was done, this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and open it. And it should play your time lapse on how it looks. So the more I look at it, I may do some adjustments, add some more, maybe adjust the exposure a little better and stuff. But anyways, it just gives you the basics of what kind of time lapse you could do with the GoPro camera and the different things you could adjust with it. So anyways, I hope this video really helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if this did help you a lot too, also uh, please hit the like button down below there. Anyways, you have yourself a really good day.